Hey, what's up? Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. In this video, we're going to do a quick series on the uh, Plasti Dip Flat Black on the rims of this Mini right over here. So uh, check this video out. I hope you like it. If you want to learn more about not just Plasti Dip, but getting into professional automotive body and paint strategies, you know, doing your body work yourself and all that other stuff, check out LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and get your free 85 page auto body and paint manual and seven day boot camp. I think you're really gonna like it and I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the training. I'm gonna show you how to paint your rims without any masking and any sanding, all right? It's pretty cool and uh, well actually there is a little bit of masking, all right? Let me just do it right now uh, just to finish it, all right? So this is basically the only masking you wanna do is when you take off your uh, your air cap, right? You just want to mask that up so you don't get any paint on that. That's basically the only thing you want to do when you're painting your rims here. And uh, I'm going to share with you the most common mistakes that people make and how to avoid it. All right. So after watching this video, if you're on YouTube, be sure to click the link below to go over to the blog post that'll tell you more about it in greater detail. All right. So the first thing you want to do uh, when doing your rims with this stuff is you want to clean them. Okay. So our rims are a little dirty now. Um, yeah, we do have some scuff marks and scratches on them, but that's okay. Uh, in this example, we're just going to go ahead and paint them flat black. Um, but if you want, you know, you could sand these out. If this is your personal car and you really care about it, you could sand them out, add a little bit of uh, epoxy putty to it, sand them out, and just do a little bit of body work on the ridges here uh, to make them look like new. And then uh, give it a coat, coat of primer and then uh, paint them. All right, so in this example, we're just going to get some good uh, degreaser soap wash our rims up, make sure it's really clean, uh, and then dry them off really good. That's another important thing. You wanna make sure they're really, really dry before you start painting. And uh, we'll go from there. The cool thing about this stuff is if you don't like it, you could basically peel it off. That's why you don't want to sand your rims or anything that you're painting with this because if you sand it, uh, peeling it off, you know, you could say goodbye to that. You're not going to be able to do that. So don't sand it. Spray it right over your glossy paint job. Um, this way you could always peel it off and it'll always have a good adhere adhesion. It's not going to peel off because you didn't sand it with Plasti Dip from in here by the lug nuts or just a bead of water come down somewhere on your paint uh, that basically messes up the nice finish okay that's the uh, two little number one pointers right there and uh, I, the only thing we're gonna really cover from getting over spray on is our brake drum and our caliper alright so quick easy thing all you gotta do is pick up some old grocery bags like this Right, and then we're just gonna wrap it around inside so we don't get any overspray on that. And, uh, and that's all we gotta do. So the rims are nicely clean now. We're just gonna double check, make sure it's all dry. Then we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and paint them. What we're gonna do is just, you know, go like this, right, long ways. And we're just gonna loop it around inside our rim here like this, okay? Probably gonna need two of them to cover your uh, your caliper. Alright, so one more important thing that you need to do is uh, before painting, right? So we got our rim nice and clean. Uh, before painting, I would recommend, um, you don't have to do this, but I would recommend some sort of cleaner. Alright, I'm just using a basic wax and grease remover here. Same stuff we use for auto body and painting and before we, you know, you start painting. And you don't want to go squirting it on the rim directly and then wiping it off. Uh, you want to just you know, hit your towel first. Uh, it's better to be a microfiber. And then you wipe your rim. Because if you do the other way, you're gonna have wet spots and moisture, especially around your lug nuts and in the uh, hard to get areas, right? And uh, that's like the worst thing. You don't wanna have uh, water on your rim uh, right before you start painting. So that's all I recommend really is, uh, you know, get a good cleaner wax and grease remover, spray it on your cloth first, and then just go ahead and dab your way around. So 
So what I like to do on the first coat is just basically get like a dust coat. You know, you don't want to just soak it completely black at first. Um, yeah, it's a no-no in, in just overall automotive painting because if you do, sometimes you may have a chemical reaction or some biting problem. So go over it with a, like a dust spray at first and if it looks good, uh, then you could just go heavier and heavier and put about, you know, three, four coats on it, five coats depending on how, how thick you want it, right? And uh, another thing, always around your tire area, you want to make sure it's thick, very thick piece of paint on it because when you start peeling it back, when you take off the overspray, um, you see I'm making it thick here. I did this a couple of times, not just once like that. I went around like three or four times like that. This way, when you're done, you could peel off the, uh, the plastic dip from your tire and you won't have any overspray to worry about. So this is what it's looking like um, getting there. Now we're going to go ahead and take off that uh, you know bag from the back uh, slowly. Um, this is about sitting for about 20 minutes. All right, it's pretty. It was pretty hot out, about 85 out. Nice weather. Now we're gonna go ahead and basically pull off. See what happens is, you could basically peel it off of your tire. Pull off. That's why you want to make your bead thick uh, along the edge. This way, you could basically just pull all this off, right? So when you're done, you basically have a cool rubber necklace to wear and you could use it however you want to use it you know play with play with your kids you know use it like that it's it's pretty neat you know you have a toy at the end plus you got some cool ass rims and we actually forgot to to take off the middle part here okay basically just excellent we got some nice matte flat black rims uh, we're going to go ahead and finish up the rest of the car, and, uh, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Alright, pretty simple to do, comes out really, really nice, as you can see. You know, if you did a little bit of body work on, on the uh, rim gouges, you could make it come out a lot nicer, but, you know, this basically took f 10 minutes, you know what I mean, and it came out really, really nice, you got a cool finish, and if you don't like it, you could always just peel it off all right whoa go to learnautobodyandpaint.com right now to get your 85 page auto body and paint manual i think you'll like it see you around bye quick video of the finished product um, as you can see it looks totally different now with the black rims i like